Hey loves, it's Britt, and in this video I'm going to talk about the sextile and trine between Mars and Uranus in Sinistry. So these are some really fun, um, exciting aspects to have. They create a real feeling of openness and like the Mars person feels like they can express their initiative of their Mars, their sexuality of their Mars, if it's the right setting, um, and just generally like their, yeah, their instinctual reactions that come from that primal masculine energy of Mars can be accepted by Uranus, the other person. They generally get that sense that it's like, oh, I don't have to try to be somebody or try to tone it down. Like if I just be myself, um, this person is going to accept that. So there's generally a pretty good openness and kind of um, an excitement or um, even exhilaration, but not um, so much like with the conjunction or the hard aspects where um, there can be a bit of like too much electricity and buzz. It's kind of like with this, uh, with the trine or sextile, it's like just the right amount where we actually feel calm in each other's presence but excited at the same time which is um a really nice feeling to have actually um and the uranus person feels like the mars person and the way that they act is not going to inhibit their freedom of expression see uranus in our natal chart is like our most rebellious part of us and when our Uranus is receiving hard aspects um, to someone else's planets um, sometimes we can feel like they're gonna restrict us or tie us down um, but with the trine of the sextile and even sometimes the opposition it's like a, a healthy level of excitement or even the conjunction um, sometimes can be just a good amount of our Uranian energy, you know, we don't feel restricted, but sometimes with the square or the opposition, we can feel like, yeah, like this person is going to inhibit that Uranian drive. Um, but with Mars being such a physical and, and masculine energy and dominant energy, like how we act in the world, making that nice trine or sextile to Uranus, we feel an openness, we feel like yeah, this person isn't going to be, um, you know, boring for us or, or yeah, like restricting us. Like we feel like we can be ourselves too. And so the Uranus person is going to really have the impulse to like even share things that they wouldn't with other people, you know, ideas that are maybe controversial or um you know whatever their uranian impulse is you know look at their your your their sorry their uranus in their natal and see you know what they are needing to express there and they feel open to express that more than if they did not have this contact so it can feel very liberating when you have this contact it can feel like a breath of fresh air but at the same time um unless you have other like plutonic stuff going on which you probably do usually we'll have a mix of stuff in our synastry but the thing about this one aspect alone isolated is that you don't want to impose on the other like it's like a very freedom um oriented aspect like you don't feel like you need to um yeah, like own this person. It's like you let them be themselves and they let you be yourselves. And like there's a very like openness and even like um, like a generosity with each other where it's like you want to give to this person because you sense that they are blessing your life in some way. They're opening up your world. They're expanding your horizons. And um, it can feel very exciting, um, but not overpowering um, in the sense that we have to do anything crazy to uh, be in this relationship. Like we don't have to, um, yeah, like rock the boat or, or um, it's not like such a challenge to our ego or our identity to 
be with this person, it just kind of flows naturally. We can be ourselves. We have this freedom of expression. We can even have more genius ideas come into our life um, because of this relationship. We can have our individuality, our ego, our identities um, activated by this relationship. And um, you can really have a, a beautiful ability to work together with this contact. You work together really well. You pick up things that are going to help the other. And um, it's a really helpful one to have. It's It's got that Uranian buzz where, yeah, it's exciting. It's exhilarating, but not too much that, you know, you're going to do anything crazy because it's just a trine or a sextile. It's not going to uh, you're not going to rip each other's clothes off or anything like that unless it's the right setting um, for that. But it it definitely can be sexual because especially the Mars person is going to feel like their Mars expression, their drive, their sex drive, their passion um, will be enhanced by the Uranus person because the Uranus person is really exciting. Um, and yeah, the Uranus person can in return feel, they feel such an openness from Mars. They feel like Mars's initiative is going to help them creatively or help them with their brilliance, with their genius. So there's definitely a very mutual, um, give and take here. And this, yeah, ability to work together really well on any common goal. Like if this is a business partnership or you're working together or a friendship, you really combine energies well in a way that you don't piss each other off either. Like we can see with the hard aspects where we just can push each other's buttons a lot and be really um, obstinate or uh, immovable. Um, but with the, the trine and the sextile, it's like we want to work together. We want to um, collaborate. Like the Mars person can really feel like, oh, you know, the Uranus person is wise or they have some sort of wisdom. And so I should, you know, move my energy in a certain way to help them or to, yeah, like collaborate with them. And so it um, brings out a really good side in both people. And it also is very um, lighthearted and funny almost. Like there's a lot of joking around when we have Mars, Sextile, or Trine Uranus. The Sextile is even more exciting. We have a very witty banter going on. And uh, um, there's a lot of like just a feeling like that we enhance each other's lives or we get to be a certain version of ourselves that we wouldn't usually be the mars person can find themselves being very direct or very almost like yeah just open and um authentic with the uranus person with the sextile and the uranus person feels like the mars person is like their little buddy that like you know they can um share things with or share their genius with and and surely be appreciated with the trine it's like a little bit less noticeable like it takes a, it's it's so inherent that it's a little bit less noticeable like it's not quite as um buzzing it's more of just a natural flow and a very good um physical compatibility and comfort together that the element that this trine is taking place in is going to be a really nice flow in the relationship whatever that is if it's if it's fire, you know, it's that enthusiasm and energy and, you know, bursting uh, joy, right, and inspiration. If it's air, it's communication and ideas and a good, like, social flow, right? If it's water, it's an emotional flow. And if it's earth, we're, we're getting down to the physical and practical sides of life together. Um, and that element is just a very easy flow in this relationship. Their energies just... Um, merge really well so it's yeah it's it's really nice it's there's not really anything negative about it um the only thing negative about it you know would be that it does create such an open flow that like if you're having this with a person that you also have like harsh pluto or neptune stuff going on you might um get a vulnerability hangover of <laughs> how openly you've shared things and then you realize oh wait maybe this person wasn't trustworthy or wasn't like my little buddy or my best friend or a good collaborative partner 
Um, but that's only going to be shown by the rest of the synastry in itself. This aspect is a really good flow and just um, a really nice underrated collaborative partnership aspect where a lot of genius can come through from both people. And yeah, the Mars person feels very physically um, capable and confident with the Uranus person. And the Uranus person feels like the Mars person is really strong or really got some good energy that they can bounce off of and, and feel, they feel very free in their presence. So yeah, I'd love to know your experience of this aspect. Was it like this? Was it not like this? Let me know in the comments, you guys, and thanks for your requests. Keep the requests coming. We'll talk soon. Thanks so much. Bye.